months of music. I'm going to talk about how you can play a song called Kiss Me, Kiss Me by Five Seconds of Summer. And it starts out with a really, really cool lead lick where you could start third fret on the A string. We kind of play that twice. And then we go second fret on the D string. It's kind of like a little hammer on pull off actually to the third fret on the D string. So we want to play the second fret note with the first finger. Take the second finger and kind of put them down on the D string third. And then they kind of fall towards the floor to kind of get a hammer on pull off going on there. And then we go to fifth fret on the A string, which you could also open play this as an open D, actually, same note. And then you go to third fret on the A. It's kind of this little C idea. Three, three, two, three, two, five, three. Three, three, two, three, two, five, three. And then we go low E string on the first fret. And then third fret on low E. It's kind of a little tag to that. So we're gonna go in C, C, E, F, E, D, C, F, F, G, G. And if you wanted to make that even thicker, you could back that look up with some power chords. So you could start with first finger on the A string, third, third finger on the D string, fifth fret. It's kind of a C5 power chord, kind of make that a little bit heavier for that first uh, three on the A string. And then for that F note, you could use first finger on the low E first fret. Third finger on the A third fret is kind of an F5 power chord to kind of reinforce that note. And if you take the, the that shape and slide them over two frets to third and fifth, that's a G5 power chord. So you have kind of a, a C, C, E, F, E, D, C, and then an F, F, G, G is kind of the power chord idea. start on the C major chord, and when you play C major, first finger gets the B on the first fret, the second finger on the D second fret, and third finger on the A string third fret, and if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really happy. Now while you're on C's in general, it can be kind of cool to lift the first finger, uh, make that a C major 7, very jazzy cool sound, or you could add in the pinky on the B string third fret, and kind of get a C major 9, and kind of say some things around the C, and then for the F, we can use an F major chord. Normally you do this as a bar on 1st fret, 2nd finger on the G 2nd fret, 3rd finger on the A 3rd fret, pinky on the D string 3rd fret, and if you strum all those together, all the beautiful sounds of F major. And we're just starting out trying to avoid the bar, we can substitute that in F major 7, where you do the 1st finger on the B 1st fret, 2nd finger on the G 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the D string 3rd fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, it sounds an F major 7, it sounds really groovy happy. And then for the G note, we can use a G major chord. And we play G major, first finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger on the low E string, third fret, third finger on the high E third fret. And if you strum all those together, ah, oh, the beautiful sounds of G major. Now you may also dig on putting the third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, kind of working that for your G. So if you wanted to just back it up with chords, actually, you could kind of work a couple different rhythm options. You could kind of do an eight down count on the C, and then go to F for four, and G for four. That'd be one way to kind of work it. Kind of C two three da 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 F G. C two three four five six seven eight F two three four G two three four. Or one of my favorite strum patterns for a four four like this is down down up up down up. So you take the C and just try that a lot. You have down down up down up down up down up down down up down up down down up down up down up down up part about applying that to the intro verse is you may want to take the F and the G and kind of half them. So kind of doing just the down, down up on each of those chords. Or if you dig it, you could do the F with a down, down, up, and you go to the G for the up, down, up. So all together you have C, down, up. Especially later on in the tune, actually, things can be kind of cool. And this may be playing against the tune a little bit, but it's still something cool to practice. It's something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're dividing that beat into two parts. So like down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, one. An eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. What I mean by that is if you take the C and do it down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what 
that's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, 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 down. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down and down, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, 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 down. So all together, you got down. on this you can do the C with the down 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 up and then kind of go to the F for a quick down down up and then G with the quick down down up. And you might get that 16th feel in there. C Verse kind of alternates between the C and the G. If you're just starting out, actually, a cool way to kind of work it would be just kind of staying on the C um, for kind of two of the eight counts, and then going to G for kind of two of the eight counts. Although there are some cool hits actually through that part, and you could start on the C, kind of the C note on the eight string third of the C five power chord, and then kind of take that shape and slide it all the way up to seventh and ninth fret for kind of an E five power chord. And then we can slide back to the third fret for the C5. Kind of following the first fret finger there randomly here um, for, for fret calling out. So that's our C5. And then we can go to the G5 power chord. But then this is where it gets really cool. You could go all the way up to eighth fret on the A string, tenth fret on the D for an F5 power chord. And then we kind of go to second fret on the A string. And then this is a little weird. You could do a, a B5 power chord where you have an A string, second. And then third finger on the D string fourth. I think that's playing against what's, what's happening. What, what you want to do is kind of take the, the second fret on the A and put the pinky on the D string fifth. And that's something I call G3 slash B, which is weird. It's a G and a B note. G A B is a third G A B. Um, but we're kind of putting the B as the lowest note. So that's called G slash B or G with the B in the bass. And then kind of work it back to the C chord. And there's this cool little push where you could go back to the E5, the F5, and then slide that shape over to 10th and 12th fret. So first finger on the A10, third finger on the D12 for a G5 power chord. And then kind of go back to your G5. And then we'd be going back to the F5 and then back to the G3 slash B. So it's kind of crazy, but you'll hear those cool little hits. Kind of C, C, E, C, G. Your strum pattern and actually just the down, down, up, up, down on the C works. C, da, da, G, G, da, 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 C, C, da, da, G. Or if you're digging on the 16, it would be like doing one of those patterns. starts on an A minor chord. When we play A minor, first finger goes to B on the first fret, second finger on the D second fret, and third finger on the G second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. Now around A minors in general, it can be kind of cool to lift the first finger and then an A suspended second. Or adding the pinky on the B string third for an A suspended chord, kind of season thing around A minor. Or you can lift off the third finger for an A minor seven. Or you can add in the pinky on the high third for an A minor seven. Or you can use just the power chord, just kind of the A string and the D string together on that chord. Or you may even dig on, on using an A5 by doing first finger on the low E fifth, third finger on the A string seven. If you kind of, kind of dig in all the movable shapes, that might be kind of cool. And then from the A minor, then we go to our G major chord, but you'll really kind of hear the A string second fret kind of come out as a bass note on that. And that's called G slash B. So it's G major now, but with a B in the bass. 
from the G slash B, then we go to our C major chord, and then we kind of end up on a big hit on our F. And rhythmically, this is a little weird. You got kind of your A minor, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A, G for four, C for four, and then a big F. Or if you're doing your down, down, up, up, down, up, you have the A minor, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, C, down, up, big F. Or if you're doing your 16th, you may want to do that, kind of like our intro actually. A minor with the down, 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 up, and then the G slash B with the down, down, up, and then C with the down, down, up, and then a big F. Kind of dig on that feel. And it can be kind of cool to take all these rhythm ideas and find a way that works for you and kind of mix it up through the tune too. A minor, down, down, up, G, down, up, C, down, up, F. And then from there, then we'll be going into our main chorus part. And our chorus starts on the C major. C, and then we go to G, and we do more G, but then we go to a D minor chord, and then we play D minor, first finger goes to the high E on the first fret, second finger on the G second fret, and third finger on the B string third fret, and if you show them the D string to the high E string, I'll have sad sounds of D minor. Um, now you may also want to lift off the first finger, if you've got a D suspended second, or you could add in a pinky on the high E third for a D suspended chord, kind of say some things around those chords. Or you can use just a D5 power chord, just the D and the G string of that chord. Or you can put first finger on the A, fifth, third finger on the D7, or it's kind of a D5 power chord too. And then from the D minor, you have to do two of the D minors and then go back to our F chord. And you can work any of those rhythm ideas through that. Kind of down, down, those licks come back. You may want to kind of break that back. Or yeah, something else that I like to add to a song like this too is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down, up and down, down, up, up, down, you throw a bass for the chord. So on the C you'd have an A for the bass, on the G you'd have low E for the bass, on the F bar you'd have low E for the bass, on that major seven you'd have a D for the bass, on the A minor you'd have the A for the bass. Minor, you have the D for the bass. On the G slash B, you may want to bring out that A string for your bass on that chord. So through that intro return, you may want to try just kind of a bass down, up, up, down, up. You have C the bass, down, up, down, F of the bass, down, G with the bass, C with the A bass, F of the bass, down, G with the bass, or you can use the bass and kind of split the pattern. F of the bass, down, G, up, down, C the bass, down. It is a bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, foot, bass, bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, foot, bass, bass, down, down, up, up, bass, down, up, down. So on that intro part, you may want to do a bass, down, down, up on the C, and go to the F for a bass, down, up, and then G with a bass, down, up. to that too and you could work it as a bass down up up down up and have the C
from there, they would be going into our chorus part. So we tried that with a bass down up, up, down up. We got the C and A bass. hit around an F and then you'll kind of hear this cool little melody come in where you can play fifth on the G and then third fret on the D and then we go back to the F for a hit and then we go back to fifth fret on the G but then to seventh fret on the G. You may want to try that as a slot actually. don't know if he's actually doing it that way but that would be kind of cool. It's kind of a five seven slot. So I'm playing five on the G keeping enough pressure to slide the sound to seventh fret on the G. And then from there we go to an E major chord. And we play E major. First finger goes to the G on the first fret, second finger on the A second fret, and third finger on the D string second fret. If you strum all those together, that sounds an E major chord. That sounds really, really happy. And you may also dig on lifting off the third finger, making that an E7 chord, or adding in the pinky on the B string third for an E7. Or you may dig on just using just the E and the A strings. It's kind of a E5 power chord. Or you could even take the first finger and go to seventh fret on the A, third finger on the D9. It's kind of that E5 power chord we're using for the hits earlier if you wanted to kind of use it that way. And we kind of do our E hit, and then you hear this cool little lick where you can play fourth on the G, second on the D string. So it's kind of this big E, four two, four two, and we're basically alternating between those those two licks, kind of our F, F, five, three, Seven E four two E four two F five three F five seven E four two E four two. Or if you're kind of digging on the strumming, you could work kind of the down idea through that part. F, da -da. Basics of how you could strum through Kiss Me, Kiss Me about five seconds of summer. So, good luck. <laughs>